Last week, a hoax tweet roiled the financial markets, and now many are asking tough questions about the dangers of social media and Wall Street. Amy, this was the tweet heard around Wall Street, a fake message about an explosion at the White House, President Obama hurt, sent the stock market into a brief but absolutely harrowing tailspin. We all know that lots of stuff, true or not, goes out over Twitter, but how did this escalate like this and so quickly? Yeah, I think this is a good example of what happens when social media goes to Wall Street. Earlier this month, the SEC approved social media as a means for market-driven news. So there are more CEOs and companies posting market-driving news on Twitter. That means bankers, hedge funds have to be there. It's even right. it's even available on Bloomberg terminals now. Okay, which are ubiquitous on the street. Exactly. Okay. Now, let's step back here for a second. This was AP's, uh, the Associated right. Press's uh, Twitter account. They were the sixth prominent Twitter yep. account to be hacked in recent months. Who's behind this? Well, the Syrian Electronic Army has been targeting media organizations, Western media organizations, right. who they say are covering the conflict in Syria in a very one-sided way. CBS, NPR, BBC, and now the AP. And also, Twitter is an incre incredibly easy thing to hack. You know, okay. They don't even have a verification process like other websites. Mm -hmm. They say they're working on that. But, I mean, here's something that was a relatively simple hack that sent the market plummeting by $136 billion. Wow. Now you were t you're writing that uh, high-frequency traders, these are the guys who trade with computers, lightning, right. lightning quick, that they've actually got algorithms that are reading tweets and trading right off the tweets. Absolutely, in milliseconds. There are algorithms that pick up information. They would pick up keywords, Obama, bomb, White House, immediately sell. And that's how this happens so quickly, I mean, milliseconds. Wow. So we've got a meeting uh, tomorrow uh, with high-frequency traders right. and some regulators down in Washington to discuss whether there should be more safeguards or whatever. But what can regulators really do? I'm very skeptical <laughs> that they can put this genie back in the bottle well, somehow. Well, I mean, Washington is so behind on this. The, you know, the Dodd-Frank Act, the big financial reform act, doesn't even mention technology, and that was in 2010. So right. you can see how far the market has gone. The SEC approved social media saying, you know, we can't stop it. This is where people are communicating. At the same time, I think now they're saying, hey, wait a second. We need to look into how secure this is, what we should do. Amy, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me.